Okay. Nice, he takes them out. Oh, he missed his kick. Huge. Iron grenade to stop the next sheep. He pots, good. Cloaking device, he gets him out. And then he pots his own cloaking device and sheeps him. Okay, so there's a lot of things that happen here. Let's go through it again. Really good play from Ozito here. So he nets. It's very important that you net before you use blink. Because you're going to have to blink anyway when the rogue is on top of you. So it's really good that you use the net in case it backfires. And it did. Rogue pops free action potion. Now, the rogue, uh, the first thing you want to do when you blink, because it gives you enough range to land a sheep before the rogue gets back to you. So you just instantly blink and then sheep. And he's probably going to vanish that. And if you take him out, you're in a decent spot as a mage. So he goes for the sheep, the rogue pops the sprint, and then he vanishes to avoid the sheep. Now, Posito needs to try to take him out of this vanish. It's very important, especially on higher levels, so you don't get full sheep shotted or ambushed, you know, like the rogue's abilities from stealth are, you know, the scariest. So he takes him out here with an arcane explosion. And then the rogue, um, he still has a free action potion here. Now, the most important thing here is to reapply mana shield. Go for a health pot and then sheep the rogue. And you have to fake cast the kick and you have to dodge the gouge as well. So he fake casts the kick and then he cancels, uh, he gouges him because he didn't avoid the gouge. You can avoid the gouge because gouge requires you to be in front of your target. So you can actually put your back against him and then spin. It's really hard to do, uh, but you can uh, choke a pop at the gouge basically. Um, it's a lot easier in classic in 1v1s because they're so slow. Um, compared to like a shadow stepping rogue in like TBC or Wrath, but yeah, you can. So the rogue here, he gouges him, then he iron grenades him to, to um, uh, stop the sheep, and then he gets his kick cooldown back. Now, the rogue has no vanish, so the mage, if you use a cloaking device, you can actually cast spells in the cloaking device. Uh, and that's exactly what he should do because he's not gonna fake us another kick He doesn't have ice block at level 20 you get it at level 30 So the best thing you can do here is to uh, Make sure that he health pots and mana shields and then goes for the cloaking device and that's exactly the rogue cloaking device is here He takes him out um, Which is really huge that he baited that cloaking device and then he cloaking device um, Before the rogue opened on him and then sheeped him now. This is a clean reset this the rogue if you're the rogue at this point you basically have lost. The only way you win is if you can get away. Now the mage shouldn't let that happen. So he goes for the rune cloth bandage. Here he needs to keep the rogue. This is being greedy. The rogue's gonna get a restuff. Okay, so this rogue, he made a really big mistake here. Anytime you're in a sheep as a rogue, and you guys see it in my Makuras as well, I can show you real quick. Yeah, right here. And look what I'm doing when I'm spam when I'm sapped. You see I'm spamming Nova. You see how I'm spamming Nova over and over? In case the sap breaks, I'll just take the rogue out because he's on top of me and he wants to open, you know? And as a rogue, you can do the same thing. If you're sheep, in case it breaks, you're just spamming restealth. Because then you have a chance to make the mage blizzard, spend a lot of mana, and maybe dodge the blizzard and get actually a clean restealth. So here you should spam stealth. And if you're in CC as a mage, you should be spamming Nova uh, if you think they're on top of you. So Zito here goes for the re-sheep um, because the rogue messed up here. And now the rogue has no way out. Now, the rogue is pretty tanky, so he should just blink this. I don't know why he's hesitating. Blink, rank one, frostbolt. Oh, he's going for the fire blast. He's not going to get that. Oh, no, that's a big mistake. So here, he should have just blinked instantly and rank one, frostbolt. Now, the rogue dropped combat, and I can tell you guys already, there's no way this rogue is going to open. He has no cooldowns. He has no CD. All right. So, again, the rogue opens up, and he goes for the fake cast on the kick. He fake cast the kick, and he just, okay, there's the vanish. He gets him out of the vanish. And he doesn't have kick. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's perfect. That is so good. Look at that. This is what I was talking about with the gouge. You can dodge the gouge if you never give the rogue your face. So he doesn't have kick here. And the rogue wants to run on top of him to gouge him. And look what he's doing. He's facing his character away. The rogue's trying to get in front of him. And he just keeps... You see that? He keeps spinning his camera away. So he actually can't land the gouge. This is pro shit. This is pro shit. Oh, he gets unlucky. Does he get him? Oh, nice blizzard. Okay, now he should he should actually chase him. That free action potion just reset here on his bar. He's doing exactly the right thing. Oh, that's a risky sheep. He gets it. Okay, so right now he's actually netted. So this rogue, not only does he have the uh, Gnomish Netomatic, but he has, um, I think is that a sticky tar trap? I think that's what it is. So the mage here should just Nova the rogue, by the way. He should literally just Nova him and then send a Frostbolt. That's what he does. 
Yeah, just send Frostbolts here. That's it. He has him by the ropes. If this rogue doesn't get a restuff here, he's in big trouble. He has Evocate as well. But what? Look how much damage he's doing from range. The rogue is literally killing him with his throw. He's out DPSing the mage. Oh, he's going for the fire blast. He needs to rank one bolt there. So he gets him out. Here's just sheep him Evocate. Sheep Evocate for sure. For sure. Nice rank one Frostbolt. Here you go for the sheep. He has the DR back. He's waiting for his first aid. Really good. This is sheep into Evocate, into Resheep, into Bandage. No way he loses after this. Like, there's no way he should lose anymore. If he gets a full bandage here, yeah. Look at those ticks from the rune cloth bandy. Uh, and then resheep again, and then start sending the dam. Now here. Oh no! That's so unlucky. That was a bad blizzard, by the way. He should have angled it further back. Oh my god. The heartbeat is unreal. So the rogue opens up again. Uh. He blinks, he goes for the sheep, he's gonna vanish, he takes him out again, and now he needs to fake cast the sheep and dodge the gouge again. He fake cast the sheep, and he does he dodge the gouge again? No way! He dodged another gouge. This rogue is getting absolutely played. He takes him out of every vanish, he fake casts his kick, and then here he dodges the gouge, never giving him his face, because you have to be in front of the target when you gouge, and he's not letting him do that. This is really high level, actually, what he's doing right now. It's really hard to do that, especially when you have spell pushback. Um, because he doesn't have a shield, you know, he doesn't have... What? It instantly broke! Oh, that's terrible. But, oh, the iron grenade, it's too late. One small thing here. If Hosey was a little bit better here, he would actually fire ward on the iron grenade. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. He should just rank one frostbolt him. He should just rank one frostbolt him. Yeah. Blink that. Rank, go back. Rank one frostbolt. Yeah. Yeah, send a nade, send a nade, send it. Yeah, now you can just send max ranks. Max ranks. He's fishing for frostbite, but he doesn't need to do this anymore. Here, he needs to actually get some real damaging because the rogue is getting throws off. And the throw is doing more damage than rank one frostbolts. So here, you just need to go for some max ranks. Okay. What? Go for the max ranks. Send the fire blast as well. There we go. Send the max ranks. This rogue is so tanky, but he can't. He needs to use fire blast more, man. He needs to use Fire Blast. He can't be scared here. The Rogue has no cooldowns. Like, he's going to get free Action Potion back, though. That, I guess... I don't know, actually. It's three-minute cooldown, I believe, on the potion. And he doesn't have his potion. I think he wants to go... Here, he should just Fireball him and then Bandage. He should just literally Fireball him here with a Max Rank and then just Bandage. Or Net him. He could Net him, Fireball him, and then Bandage as well. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he does. Ah, oh, this is pro, man. Now the rogue can't bandage. Oh, he tries to bandage with the fireball. That's huge. What? Why did he blizzard? Oh, I guess he had to because he was going to drop combat. The mana here is not looking good, though. Oh, you don't want that. Ah, oh, man. This rogue is so tanky with all the consumables, all the bis gear and the magic res pots. He has to let him restuff here and just go for the drink. He can't do anything else. It's a free action potion coming back. So he instantly faps. He doesn't even open from stealth. He literally just faps. Then he missed his kick. Oh, his gouge missed. So he actually did get the gouge there, but it missed. Now, this rogue should have just uh, sent an iron grenade there. He could have easily stopped that sheep with an iron grenade. Uh, after his gouge missed. Oh, oh, Jose needs the macro, by the way. He doesn't have a macro that cycles different sheep ranks. Uh, so you see, he actually doesn't re-sheep him here. He needs to use two different ranks of sheep for that. All right, so he's going to blink, bandage. Rogue's just going to restealth again, dude. Rogue's just going to run here. He's actually just running at him like a Terminator. So he mana pots. Does he have enough mana? He has evocated in 40 he, He's thinking about it. You see, he just mouse over there to see it. The rogue is actually just killing him with throw. That's wild, bro. He interrupted his evocate a little early. But now he can't all in anyway because the rogue's going to have free action potion and sprint. And the rogue, when he has free action potion and sprint, the mage just has to run and, and play defensively. When the rogue doesn't Allez, have that, Zico. that's when you can send him. Oh, Viens does he DC? Good DC. Oh my god, the shadow step. Allez, <laughs> Zico. Viens par là. Free action potion, sheep it. Right now, when he has him sheeped, the best thing you can do here is just, instead of drinking like this, you stand here and cast sheeps like this. Just cast a sheep, and then here, cancel it. And then cast another sheep and cancel it. And just keep doing that. 
And if the sheep stays, then he's not wasting a resheep DR. But if it does, if it breaks, he's already casting the resheep. So it's a high chance that he actually batches it um, before the rogue stealths. That's why you do that. And when there's a certain amount of time left, you can literally just put him in combat with the, a Frostbolt. Garrot this time. He goes for the, uh, gets fake casted on his kick again. Vanish, gets taken out probably, yeah. Now he can't gouge him because he has a, um, so he has a Gar Garrot dot here. Uh, the mage is kind of low though. Not super low, but. Goes for the sheep. Oh my God. But during this moment, he should uh, for sure pot. So he gets Evist for 218 crit. He gets auto attacked for 126 damage. He has a fire ward up. He has a Garrot ticking as well. Garrot takes for 40. And then he gets sapper charged for 648 damage, 85 absorbed. So this is, I think it can roll six, uh, 750, right? Yeah, that's, that's uh, <laughs> the sapper charge damage, dude. That's actually, I feel like he actually played it really good. The only thing that he messed up on, he gave the rogue too many opportunities to kill him. He needed to wait a bit more with the... Oh, he got super unlucky. Honestly, I feel like the mage actually played that better than the rogue. The rogue got fake casted. He didn't land one kick. He, he missed two gouges. He didn't use his nades good. He didn't use his kick good. Uh, yeah, he just kind of steamrolled him. He was good at, uh, at running away. Like his his resetting was kind of good, but I feel like as well, like he just even when the mage like baited all his cooldowns and got the sheep, the rogue just killed him with a throw weapon. So I don't know, dude. Wow, that is wild.